nice. This is my Lenovo Legion Go. It's a PC handheld that is made for gaming. And I think it's a really nice device. I really like it and I'm really happy with it. It allows you to take your games with you, whether you're laying on the couch or laying on the bed. But I think it has one major issue, especially this model, which is the entry level model of the device. And the problem is that it only has a 512 gig SSD. And it's like barely enough to fit like one fifth of the latest Call of Duty. And that's why I decided to do something about it. And in this video, we're gonna upgrade the SSD to this, which is a two terabyte NVMe Gen 4 SSD from Vision Tech. And as far as I know, this is the exact model that Micro Center uses for their SSD upgrades for the Lenovo Legion Go, which means that we are today going to lobotomize the Legion as a family so that if something gets wrong, it's kind of like all of our fault and not just mine. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's get down into the lobotomy room. All right, so for this to work, what we're gonna need is an SSD and an SSD enclosure for actually cloning the hard drive that is in the Legion Go onto this new SSD. All right, so we have the Legion Go booted up and what we need to do is to clone this SSD. Yeah, some real nice fish death from Vision Tech with this plastic. And this is actually, I think, one side SSD, yeah. Because as far as I know, the two side SSDs, for example, these Sabrent ones, don't fit that well in the Legion. So now we have to get the SSD into this enclosure. As you can see, it supports like, I think this is 2230, 2242, and then up to 2280. So it's basically like you drop this here, and then you screw down the other part of the screw to kind of hold this in place. Then you put this back into its shell, like that. And then we need to connect the enclosure to the Legion Go with the provided USB-C cable. Okay, so now for the actual cloning part, what I'm gonna use is this software called Macroom Reflect, which gives you a 30 day trial so you can download it from their website and then use it for cloning and then get rid of it for example. As you can see the disk that we have is already like detected by the software and it says like 1.82 terabytes and I'm just gonna put the device into at least like balanced mode in order for this process to be like a bit faster. If, I'm not sure if that matters. And then what we want to do is to tap on clone this disk. Select the disk to clone to. We have that one. And then what you want to do is tap on copy partitions, shrink or extend to fill the target disk. So this basically gives you access to all of your two terabyte storage rather than just copying like a 512 gigabyte ROM in there. Click next. And then once you've made sure that everything is correct, what you can do is just tap finish. So yeah, at this point, we just need to wait for this process to complete and then we can proceed with the lobotomy. One eternity later. All right, so now that the cloning is complete, you should see your new SSD over here. It should pretty much match in terms of like partitions, the original one, except for the available storage space as you can see over here. And now we need to disconnect the new SSD and then open the device up and put the new SSD in. So let's go. So here is the new cloned SSD that we're gonna put in the Legion. Now, the first thing we need to do is to shut the device down completely and make sure that it's not even on like sleep mode or anything like that. We should probably disconnect the controllers because they're gonna get in the way. All right, so what I'm gonna use is a screwdriver, and then this thing, 
and guitar picks to kind of pry open the device. So as you can see, we have six screws, three on both sides that we first need to undo. All right, so now that we have the screws off, what we can do is kind of start working our picks in and in between the um, shell and the back plate. And I think it's kind of easier to start in this area where the notch is for opening the back plate. So as you can see, I've kind of worked in one of the picks over here and I'm using the other one to kind of go around the device. There's a whole bunch of kind of those plastic notches holding the back together. So at this point, I've undone like most of the plastic notches holding the back plate on. And with a bit of poking around, the back of the device should come off. Although it was a bit harder than it seemed, but this gives us a pretty good look at the internals. All right, so at this point, just make sure that the device is turned off completely and we can proceed with the transplant. The first thing we're gonna do is to disconnect the battery, which is over here. And first we need to get the sticker off of the battery connector. So I kind of push the sticker to the side and we can disconnect the battery, this connector over here. I think it might be a better idea to kind of remove the sticker that covers the battery cable first. So I'm gonna do that first. All right, so now that we have the sticker off, you can see you have the SSD over here covered in this foil material. And you can proceed basically with pulling out the battery connector, which is kind of a pain. All right, so we have the battery connector out. And now what we need to do is to get the SSD out. As you can see, you have a screw over here. Screw this first. Yeah, as you can see, like the screw, pretty easy to damage if you don't use the correct size of the screwdriver. And then we have our SSD and we can just pull this up and pull it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this material, this kind of foil thing, which is for heat dissipation probably, or protecting the SSD from heat. I'm gonna take this out and then put it on the new SSD. All right, so it seems like I finally made progress and peeling this thing was probably one of the most unpleasant things I've done to any device in the recent years. As you can see, we have the Lenovo SSD. I'm not sure if it's Lenovo, no, it's SanDisk SSD. At this point, we need to get that foil thing onto this SSD. All right, I'd say we did a pretty decent job. Like it doesn't look terrible. So this thing goes into the Legion in this area. So to put the new SSD in, we kind of peel this part back. And what you do is basically insert this into the M2 slot, and then you push it in and then screw it down with the screw that we took off from this screw hole. 
Okay, so now that we have the SSD in and screwed in place, we need to reconnect the battery connector. So now that we have the battery connected, we need to stick the sticker back onto the connector and finally stick this bigger sticker back onto the SSD. So the last thing we need to do is basically put on the back cover and turn the device on and hopefully it works. Like throughout the whole process, this feels like you're breaking everything pretty much. Definitely not the kind of user-friendly, the most user-friendly thing to service by yourself. All right, seems to be fine. Just make sure that all of the plastic notches are stuck in place and we can put the screws back. Alright, so 3D moment of truth and the first boot is going to take probably a bit longer than usual, but we'll see how it goes. Would you look at that, it works and the SSD is showing up as you can see, 2 terabytes. very nice, alright. So yeah, what did you learn in today's video? Well, should you go out there and lobotomize your own Legion Go? I think this process is not exactly for everybody. And I think Lenovo didn't meant you to kind of open up the device and poke around into all of the components. Well, at least not to the degree that, for example, the Steam Deck is, where some people even change the screens, for example. So I'd say if you really want to increase the storage and you don't feel really comfortable, and you're not next to a micro center that can do the upgrade for you, either reach out to a friend who knows what he's doing or probably get an SD card, which is gonna be enough for most things. Of course, you're not gonna be running like Hogwarts Legacy or something that really depends on the speed where the game is stored, on the drive speed where the game is stored. But yeah, I think that's all for today. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And also don't forget to like this video. And yeah, I think that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.